Hello everyone, uh, welcome to just a, basically a testing out video. Um, as you can see, this is a Game Boy Pocket, or as you can possibly see, probably from the title though. It's a PCB, and it's got no DC to DC power board. I bought it, and... Well, let me see if, if I can find it here. Here it is. So, uh, this is the power board here. Oops. Which uh, all looks okay, but if you flip it over, you can see that the inductor has been smashed off. So, I get no power. But, I was just testing here. And I've got this little board that will convert 3 volts to 5 volts. And it does power, as you can see. Obviously, there is nothing on the screen because the screen requires negative 18 volts. So, that's what I'm going to test now. Basically, I've got this uh, pocket here, which had no screen. So if I just plug this one in with my little battery here. Uh, this one had no screen, or, well, it had a bad screen. Probably that one, in fact. And I replaced it with, like, an all-in-one from China. But the interesting thing about this screen is that it runs on... 3 volts instead of negative 18 so I could actually just take the 3 volts before it even gets to this that's turning the motherboard on so that is my plan and that's what I'm going to do so I've got my nice wow stick here do 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 so essentially I'm just going to put this board here into this pocket and solder on the 3 volt line that one doesn't want to come out on the left I do love this uh, wow stick. I just got it for Christmas. And it is super awesome. Unless, of course, the screw is a bit tight, which I tightened them up. Because I wasn't planning on open the, opening this back up, but uh, that was before I wanted to do that. I drop a screw. <laughs> I silly. There we go. So, I don't know if anyone's familiar with Mirko, but um, he just made a video documenting that you should run the 3 volts to the centre pin of the switch instead of the left. Because on the left, you're always going to the positive terminal, so it gets power regardless. Whereas if you go to the centre, then you only get the power when you switch the pocket on. So I'm going to have to think what I will do. Yeah, I'll just desolder the wire from the board instead of the PCB, the flex. I should have had my soldering iron on before now really. Now I got to wait for it to heat. Silly me. Nope. Come on you soldering iron. What temperature are we at? 
we're at about 370. Let's see, where are my tweezers? Where did I put my tweezers? There they are, over there. I just want this off here. And if I turn that around, just want this little wire off this capacitor. Come on. Off you come. Why? Why do you not come off? Unhand my capacitor. Thank you. There we go. Right. So, now I'll have to swap ends. And press the right button. Kind of hard to see because this wow stick has an LED. I don't think you can turn that off. There we go. Right, so PCB comes off. I do not need this screen. <laughs> Two seconds while I remove. This was just a testing screen. Because it's broken, although it, I mean, well, it does work, it's just got lines missing. So, um, just going to get some Capiton tape, if I can find the end, and my scissors. Come on, I just cut my nails. I've got no nails. So I don't think any of this would actually short, but might as well just do this. I can make it look pretty later once I actually test it. And if it works, I should see. Screw it. Chop chop. Chop chop. Thank you. And then on that side. Okay, so back to the screen. I'm just going to put that like that. Squeeze it down in the little DC board area. Route some of the wires. Stupid wires. Get out of the way. Just a test anyway, honestly, I don't really need to get it in yet. I can sort that out once and if I know it works. You don't actually need this little one, so I'm actually not even going to do anything with that just at the moment. On to the centre pin, turn it up slightly. And turn the wire slightly again. And just put that on top there. Like I say, this is just a test. So, theoretically, I'm just going to put that in there if I can. There we go. 
to start switching this off. So now, theoretically, if I turn this on, <laughs> let's see what happens. No. Okay, I could have sworn you didn't need that, but maybe you do. That's not what I tried to do. Silly, silly. I should probably secure my phone. I'm recording with a phone. And let's, let's sort this out in that case. Let's just put this on and see if that's the issue. Obviously I'm going to need some solder. I don't think you actually need to attach to the capacitor itself since there's a grounding plane right next to it. But that's what uh, the instructions say, so why not? I can just get my tweezers properly. There we go. Right, so that's on there. Let's see if it works now. Battery. Ah. So there you go. And then it goes off. Why does it go off? Why is the thing falling off? The switch. I hope I didn't just blow this screen, that would be very unfortunate. Oh dear. <laughs> oh god. Um, right, well anyway. I've had a test and it does work, so I'm going to take it back off. I'm going to put it back on the other one to make sure that the screen still works. This was basically just a test to see if there was an alternative to, well, if, if you have a broken DC board. There we go. So this one goes in. In fact, I may just buy another screen if this one is still working. Which I really hope it is because they're not cheap. There we go. Just screw it back. Screw it. Uh, solder it back on, even. There we go, and back on to the capacitor, I'll just route the wire slightly, I'll do the rest when it's actually soldered on, then it won't move. Be routed to your silly wire. You silly, extremely long wire. Okay. Um. Yeah. Plug the power in. Over we go. And oh dear, oh dear. Does it turn on? Okay, well, at least it's not on. That's promising. Um, what have I done? 
What have I done? So I'm just on continuity here. So we're on there. And we're getting to the switch with power. So that is something. Maybe I've done something to the screen itself. Um, well, looks okay. Don't really want to take it out. Let's just plug it back in. Aha! I heard something that time. Do we get anything on the screen now? Ah, we do, thank God. Hooray, the screen is okay. <laughs> that is really all I cared about. Okay, well, I'm just going to take this as a proof of concept that if you actually damage or break a DC to DC power board, you can replace the power to the motherboard with just a regular 3 volt to 5 volt um, book converter, regulator, whatever you want to call it. And then you can get one of these all-in-one screens that runs on 3 volts. And then, there you go. Obviously, I haven't got it working yet, but I'm going to play around a bit more off camera because I don't want this video to be too long. And maybe I will post a video with a follow-up if I get it working, which I think it should. I think I just shorted something or there wasn't a very good connection or something. So there we go. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.